Okay, after filtration, okay, the water is reasonably clear. 90% of dissolved solid and bacteria is gone. Okay, the water is then pumped into another holding tank where uh, two compounds or two chemicals is added. Okay, one is chlorine. Chlorine is used to kill bacteria and viruses. Okay, I remember chlorination. Okay, chlorination kills bacteria and microorganisms in the water. Another compound added is fluoride. Okay, uh, fluoride is added to the water, to our treated water, to prevent dental decay. Okay, fluoride. Okay, you can also find fluoride in your toothbrush. Okay, uh, they purposely add fluoride into your to uh, toothbrush uh, to prevent dental decay. Okay, after that, the water is then pumped to a clear water tank. Okay, and uh, after a few days uh, in the holding tank, the water is then pumped through the uh, piping system or the water piping system into a storage tank. Okay, so in residential area, uh, there are huge storage tanks. Okay, purpose built storage tank for the water hold. Okay, and then uh, the water will be pumped to homes. Okay, in landed property, okay, individual home also have their own smaller water tank, uh, usually uh, at top of the ceiling. Okay, at top uh, the house or in the ceiling. Apartment, condominium, and um, apartment and condominiums, uh, they, do, they don't have large holding tanks, okay, large holding uh, water, uh, large hold, uh, storage, water storage uh, structure, okay, instead they have a uh, single large water storage on top of uh, every unit. Okay, flat, apartment, and condo, they don't have a separate storage tank. Okay, instead, they have one large uh, water tank at, uh, at the very top okay, for the whole unit. And the water will be uh, pumped up and then distributed uh, to the individual homes. Okay, so, uh, okay, that's... Okay, so we get reasonably uh, clean water in our home that we can use for our everyday use.